Greetings everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at exam type questions on uh, NC level 3 probability distributions achievement standard. So in this video, we'll be looking at uh, Poisson distribution and using a calculator to find the unknown probabilities. So this is the second part to the previous video where I've uh, done part A of this problem. So in this question, it says uh, the average number of accidents at a particular intersection in Henderson every year is uh, 21. And uh, the first question says uh, calculate the probability that there are exactly two accidents there this month. Uh, I've already done this part in my previous video. If you haven't already, please do uh, check that one out. In this video, I will be focusing on answering the second part to the problem, which is uh, calculate the probability that there is at least one accident this month. So you will need to be familiar with some of the keywords and phrases uh, for this achievement standard. And I've already summarized uh, some of the uh, uh, keywords that go with the inequality symbols here. So in this question, it says at least one accident and at least means greater than or equal to. So using this information, we can uh, then write that uh, the probability random variable X is greater than or equal to one. So what this means is um, we're looking at uh, discrete values and uh, it starts with zero. Zero implies uh, no accidents and then uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 accidents, etc. And this goes uh, to infinity, uh, infinite number of accidents uh, at that particular intersection, uh, which is unknown. So uh, using this uh, information, we can clearly see that uh, at least 1 means greater than or equal to 1. So in this case, I can see that uh, probability when x is greater than or equal to 1 will be given by probability when it's exactly 1 plus probability when it's exactly 2 plus probability when it's exactly 3 and so forth. So you can see that that's the shaded part there. And we know that the total probability will add up to 1. So taking the complement gives you 1 minus probability when x is equal to 0. And if I'm able to find the probability when x is exactly 0, if I take that number away from 1, I will be able to find the probability of uh, at least one accident. So using the graphics calculator, we'll select PPD x value is exactly zero and the lambda value of uh, 1.75 which is 21 divided by 12 because the size of the interval now is uh, month not year so 21 divided by 12 will give you per month so using the graphics calculator so from the main menu select uh, states menu and then uh, f5 uh, distributions and th in this case we got uh, options here binomial normal but we need uh, to look for Poisson distribution. So F6 will take you to the next page. So hitting F6 gives you a Poisson distribution. So we will select Poisson distribution, which is F1. And then I've got uh, two options. In this case, my X value is exactly uh, zero. So I will use a point distribution, so PPD and then uh, change data to variables so we've got uh, variable there and then x value is zero in this case so that's already there and mean this is the symbol for a mean and mean is 1.75 accidents per month so 1.75 and if i enter that that will give me the probability when it's exactly zero which means no accidents this month so 0 0.1738 rounded up the probability when x is equal to zero is 0 0.1738 but the question said find the probability that there is at least one accident this month so using uh, complement so probability when uh, x is uh, greater than or equal to 1 is uh, same as 1 minus probability when x is 0. And in this case, that is 0 0.1738. So 1 minus 0 0.1738 will give you the probability 0 0.8262. And uh, then you must answer the question in context. So in this case, we can say that the probability that there is at least one accident this month is 0 0.8262. Hope this makes sense. I would suggest you can pause the video and take notes as you go. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.